fighting back against the summer heat. The city of Grandview has made changes to a playground after a girl was actually burned on a slide there. Yeah, 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan found the city is one of a few that have shade canopies over play areas. So Charlie, what else is the city doing after this latest incident involving the girl with the burns? Well, the first thing is it's looking at expanding the number of parks where it does have shade canopies. Unfortunately, the burn happened at this park, Jan Anderson, John Anderson Park, where there's currently no shade canopy. The, the burn happened on a slide that used to be right here. The city, though, has already replaced that slide. It was a flat slide where that girl was burned over Memorial Day weekend. You can see the one they installed now has kind of this tube covering over it that kind of offers a little bit more sun protection for people using the slide. But I want to show you those burns again from Memorial Day weekend from a story we did with that mom. You can see how serious they were. The mom tells us that the girl went down the slide in her bathing suit after playing in the kind of the splash pad zone of this park and then got those burns. Now, since then, almost immediately after that, the city blocked off access to that slide so no one else could go down it. Also put up signs warning folks about the dangers of hot playground equipment. But right now the city is looking at how much it would cost to build a canopy over this park. It would be very beneficial that way they won't get burned because I did hear about the girl who got a um, sunburn on the back and that spread around really quick. So Grandview has two other parks, Valley and Southview, that have canopies installed over the play areas. When we look around at other cities in the metro, Kansas City and Overland Park do not have canopies over their playgrounds specifically. Live in Grandview, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.